say, be treating you okay, Alex Sanchez. These alleged victims were, well, they're not alleged, but they were 17 years old at the time of this act in Florida. Do you think 22 years is too harsh for three victims that are 17, not 14, not 15, but 17? Jordan, 22 years. Are you serious? I mean, I just had a guy the other day. He shot somebody three times. The person was unarmed. Shot him. Right. Shot him again while the guy was on the floor. On videotape. I got that guy five years in jail. Right? I've represented people. Wow. Charged with manslaughter and rape and every case, child abuse. 22 years for this case when these kids were 17 years old. You know, to me, this is some type of politically correctness gone to some absurd degree. Now, I know there's there's an attempt in this country to say that acts against boys and acts against men or acts against women should be completely equal, and I understand that on one level. But to suggest that three 17-year-old boys were somehow horrible victims of some sexual monster is absurd. Was it inappropriate? Yes, it was inappropriate. Should there be some punishment? Yeah, there should be some punishment there. 22 years. These guys, these 17 year old kids today, kids are having sex at 14, 15 years old, 13, 17, forget it. These kids, I'll bet you any amount of money, these kids were having the time of their life. These kids were saying, Probably this bragging about coming it on too. to me, and they're bragging about it, and they're thinking they're men, and they're saying, this teacher, she's a good looking babe. And we're having a great time. The only reason why this is causing any problems is because the parents became upset about it. And, you know, they have a right to be upset about it. And certainly teachers should avoid having sexual contact with students. 22 years. I mean, come on, give me a break. If you ask me what I think would be a, like a fair sentence in something like this, maybe I'd say two years in jail. Maybe I'd say that. Two years. You know, Without yeah, uh, possibility, straight two years flat? Come on, come on, two, just two years in jail at most and have the person, you know, be required to, you know, seek counseling or you something like that. Remember the famous teacher, Deborah Lafay, who got yeah. no time about a she, decade I ago? Think she, I think she did get some time because she, she had violated... Right? Yeah, but then what happened was she... She got involved with him again, as I recall, and she violated the terms of her parole or something, and she went to jail for some period of time. Then she came out and uh, got married to the very guy, Falou. She got married to him, and they have a couple of kids, and they're living happily ever after. You know. Now, some people say, wait a minute. In this case with this 22, with this teacher that had sex with three 17-year-olds, if it was, some people say, wait a minute, if it was a man... And he he was having sex with three seventeen year old girls, and he was a teacher. You would say that man should go to jail for a longer period of time. And you know what I say? I say you're right. I say you're absolutely right. If it's a male teacher, and if he's ha- having sex with with three female students, I consider that more dangerous and more devastating than a female teacher. Having sex with but he wouldn't students. even get 22 years. A male, yeah. most likely, right? Yeah. Uh, 22 years is absurd. People go to jail for murder for 22 years. You know, I had a guy who shot his his girlfriend in the head and killed her. He got 20, flat 20 years in jail. 22 years is absurd. This is so extreme. It's so way over the top that it's it's making a mockery of the justice system. And I heard and of again, a case we're not talking a, about twelve year olds. We're talking about seventeen year olds. That's smoking gun for me. And uh, I have a, a a friend that shot well a friend whose 
nephew shot somebody in self-defense, allegedly, uh, killed the car, uh, cab driver in West Virginia, uh, and he got eight years with the possibility of parole in six years. So that's, you know, less than half. I mean, the maximum penalty in New York, at least, for murder is 25 to life. So this woman's getting 22 years. Now, Pete, I say, people say, well, why do I think it's more dangerous for men, for, for a male teacher to have sex with, you know, a 17-year-old student than as opposed to a female teacher having sex with, with a male student because the young girls can get pregnant. The male students can't get pregnant. I That's see a very good point. I see that as a difference. Call me old-fashioned. Say I'm living in a what different about, universe. But that's what I think. I saw a story where uh, it was on 2020 where a woman was abusing a younger girl. What do you do with that case? I, and I, I need to know more facts. When you say a woman, right, I mean, I, how old was this girl? You know, was she 17? Hmm. To me, 17 is, you know, that's legal no, age already. 17. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know, that's another thing with these three boys. I'm sorry you could drive 17, at 17. 17 is legal. In New York, you can have sex legally if you're 17 years old. And it's the same rule. I believe it's the same rule in, in Florida where that incident occurred. The reason why she was arrested was because she was a school teacher that had, you know, supervisory control over these students, right? Sounds she like they really necessary. wanted to make an example of her. Yeah, they wanted to make an example. But, I mean, you know, come on, what is this? Make an example by <laughs> by essentially murdering somebody, 22 years in jail? I mean, that's reserved for the most, the worst and most hardened criminals imaginable to do that type of time in jail. Those guys, those two <laughs> escaped prisoners from New York, those guys got... 25 to life, so she got three years less than a guy that killed a cop? Come on. That's that's unthinkable, and she probably, I don't know, uh, but she probably didn't have a good lawyer like yourself representing her, but uh, you would it. not let you would have not let the state get away with 22 years, right? No, I would have. You see that? And apparently she pled guilty, but when you plead guilty, you know that the, you know the time you're going to get. I may have insisted on going to trial and then try to expose these 17-year-old kids as being willing participants in this, having the time of their life, because let's face it, if a, if this good-looking teacher is coming on to 17-year-old kids and they may know each other, they're laughing. They're having a great time. They're viewed as heroes in their school and in their community. Even other teachers are envious of those 17-year-olds. It's not having the psychological impact on those 17-year-olds that many people want you to believe that it's having. It really isn't. And, that's, and it could have been mutually done. Yeah. And you know, they both could have agreed. I don't know the whole story. If they did, but uh, I guess the lesson here is 17 years old, I mean... Even my own mom said she was reading the story, and she said, you know, she didn't talk about the story. She talked about the length of time that uh, that this uh, young lady's going to get, 22 years. That is, uh, you know, Everybody, I don't know. I, they better do I don't know if this is your experience, Jordan, but, uh, you know, every every time I discuss these type of cases with with other attorneys, some of them, and I'm not saying I think like this, but some of them have said, how come, how come nothing happened like that to me when I was 17 years old? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what happened to us uh, back then when I was uh, in school? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> yeah. there, were, there was a school of thought that this has only been going on uh, recently, uh and uh, we don't hear, we haven't heard these cases in the 90s, the 80s, the 70s, the 60s. You know, it's only been the 2000s and up where these cases are coming to uh, prosecution, prosecutor's desks uh, by uh, by uh, the week. Well, I, but, I uh, remember, I, 
I remember when I was in high school, there was a um, teacher that allegedly had a relationship with a student. The teacher that was about 24 years old, and the, the student was about 16, I think. Now, I didn't know it myself, but this is what I heard. And I remember thinking at the time, you know, that doesn't sound right, but from what I heard from other people, this girl was voluntarily, she was, you know, thinking she she was wanted to have a relationship with this 24-year-old guy, and, and she had a relationship with this 24-year-old guy, and she wasn't the worst off for it from what I heard, and I just said didn't didn't pay much mind to it. But, so I think this has been going on for longer than you think. But I think now it's probably uh, more... just been more uh, people exposing it with social yeah, media. You get, you, get, you get radio shows like the King Jordan Radio Show, and they're advertising this type of stuff all over the place. Well, I would hope that it leads to her <laughs> getting out early and some defense attorney is listening in Florida and says to themselves, you know what, I'm going to take on this case and try to get this lady out at least or give her a normal sentence. My gosh. But uh, uh, She can appeal uh, that. She'll probably appeal the sentence. Definitely. Definitely. And it's, 